Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer of Potsky Outdoors. We're back here in South Carolina showing you where to go to catch trout near Greenville, Anderson, Spartanburg. We're only about an hour away right now in an area that all of you can come even on a busy weekend like it is today. This parking lot right here had 25 cars earlier today. Game warden showed up, everybody left. Guess what, we're still here. We're gonna show you how to catch trout here in the beautiful mountains. Real fish quick, on, just baby. like fish we on, look at this. Here, I'll get out of your way, go Got ahead. him out of the deep hole. Dude, he's right in those trees, be careful. Careful, come on over the trees. Right there, George. There we go. Man. Not a bad trout, too. You're gonna be able to get him up a there? Good looking trout. Well, I think this, gonna, this is not a place to go. be able to land ready? fish. Yep, coming up. Oh, look at yes. that. Right in the <laughs> net. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just heard us talk about being here for the first time, okay? This is uh, not the easiest place to drift eggs simply because take a look at what we got right here. You can see his eggs are right down in there. There's a big tree and all the fish are right down there, right at the front edge of that tree. So he's having to use weight to get himself down to the bottom. And we're hoping that he's able to get another one here pretty quick. But boy, they, these fish are sure liking eggs. It's just getting down to them is not the easiest, easiest thing. You can see all the tree branches and limbs and a lot of cover for the, for the trout down there. But you also gotta be wary of getting snagged as well. So we using a little bit of caution down here. Another one, huh? You gotta watch out for those trees. Oh man, this is not good. See, we knew we were playing with fire fishing here. You can see the fish right there. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I've never seen anybody do this before. The fish is wrapped around the branch as he's trying to bring it in. And somehow it's still hooked. One quick, oh. I think the fish is like, dude, let me stay in the water a second. Yeah. Now he's swimming again. I think your line is around the branch is what the problem yes. is. I know it is. It's wrapped around because the fish, when he came up, oh wrapped around it the gosh. other way. I had him coming up. <laughs> Got him. Ah. Oh my gosh. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Look at that trout. <sighs> I don't think we're going to need the net. We got them. Fish on! Here he comes. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a nice one. You got the net or you want me to hand it to you? I got it. I got it. We're about to get him in the net. We're going to get him in the net right here. This is how you catch a trout. Let's show it. Nice rainbow. He's trying to go deep. He's trying to run away from me. Got him. Yeah, look at that bird. What a beautiful rainbow. All right, so we came across the bridge. We pulled up over here on the side of the road and parked. We saw this nice hole right here under the bridge where another creek runs into it. And I thought the fish were gonna be right here in this deep hole. So I made a salmon egg, put it on my float, drifted it down, didn't get a bite. I let it go a little bit farther down the creek. Bam, hit. Thought I missed him, reeled up a little bit. Bam, another hit, caught him. That's the one you saw on his just catch catch them on gold label today I'm gonna show you how to rig it up you can take a I like to take three eggs and cover up the hook you can use just one there's nothing wrong with that but I think it works better if you take three of them and put it on and then now you end up with your hook completely unexposed and the fish ready to bite <laughs> Look at that right there, huh? Oh, he's a flopper. There he is, fish on. Oh yeah, another one. Come on, baby. Get the net. You're jumping around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got him. Fish on, baby. I was about to. Fish on. I was about to go to Where Bojangles and get Where a biscuit waiting for you to catch one. Hey, Potsky Bay don't play. <laughs> Come on now. All right, so we changed locations. We're at a new spot. We've been catching them like crazy right here now. I'm switching to fire bait, chartreuse garlic, 
and I'm going to show you how to put it on. Take me just a little bit right there. Cover up my hook. Make me a little teardrop. Now let's go catch some fish. All right, so as we mentioned, this is a weekend, which we never film on the weekends, but we happen to be in town on our way to Cherokee. So we're doing a little bit of filming here on the Big East Atoli. And uh, we actually had to wait our spot in line. You're not gonna believe that, but there was probably 20 people when we first got here. No open spots, a game warden came down. As soon as a game warden came down, the crowd kind of dispersed. And we came down here and got a spot to go fishing. So we're gonna show you how easy it is to come up here, catch a lot of trout, not far from Greenville and Spartanburg. Ooh, I see the bite, dude. There he is, <laughs> I was like, that? I All was right. like, dude, are you gonna make me look good yeah. or what? Wait, non bojay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you might yeah. need the net. This is oh, a better fish. Let's get the net for this one. It's right over there. I'll follow you. Nice fish. Oh man. All right, come on in the net, baby. Come on, come on. Oh snap. Nice. All right, so we got a call from the South Carolina DNR talking to us about stocking larger fish. We're gonna show you, this is what we've been catching here on the little, let's see, look at this. You can see the fish are getting bigger. They're starting to stock bigger fish, much bigger than the ones, than the ones that we've been catching the last couple years up here. Got one coming in. Oh, it's a nice one, George. Good one, good one, George. Here we go, George. <laughs> George, don't lift up what on I the do? pole, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're out here up in Clemson country banging these bows, fire bait. It's a whole different world out here. You know, proportionally, the state of South Carolina does not stock that many trout when compared to places like West Virginia and Pennsylvania, you know, California, Colorado, New Mexico, places that some of them stock one, two, three, upwards of four million trout a year. However, we find ourselves in South Carolina here in the upstate very often. Reason being, it's one of our favorite places to go. Everybody knows I'm a huge Clemson fan. You know, I fly across the country several times a year to go see the Tigers play and I always relish the opportunity to come here and film Potsky Outdoors here in the beautiful South Carolina mountains. Now, today was the first time we've ever fished a few places. You'll see a little bit of drone footage here showing you Granny Gear Access Point, where it looks like a dirt road going along some power lines all the way to the big Isatoli River. Now, this is the first time we've ever filmed in this area. And it was, you know, we heard they stock it really well. Unfortunately, it didn't look like the hatchery guys spread the fish out. There was only one hole we counted about 20 fish and this water was so clear it did not take a rocket science to see where these fish were. You know, I personally walked up and downstream about half a mile, didn't see any trout, but did see those right here in this area. Now, caught a couple out of there. It was a really tough place to fish. Then we got in the car and we drove over to where a couple locals told us to go, the Mill Creek Cleo Chapman Road Confluence, right where Mill Creek dumps in. You can see some drone footage here where you see the creek coming in right into the Big East Otoe. That's a great place to drift a couple of bobbers down there with some eggs or fire bait underneath them, just like we did. Now, we didn't catch enough fish to do an episode in the first two spots, simply because I don't think they put that many up here. Today is a Sunday, could have got wiped out, but we didn't see that many fish. Now from there, we went to a place we filmed an episode before, Doug Mountain Access, and we were sure glad we did. We got there, there were like, no exagger exaggeration, 25 cars. There were cars on the highway, parking lot was full. We got in there, we saw the game warden on Sunday, and as soon as everybody else saw the game warden, the 25, 30, 40, 50 people that were fishing this 100 yard stretch, half of them were gone instantly. And that allowed us to get in there and do some fishing. Otherwise, we actually sat there for about an hour and waited before we even made a cast. We couldn't find an open place to fish. Now, Sunday afternoon, after a busy Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, can sometimes be a tough time out here. You know, a lot of the fish are picked over. There may not be that many left. However, today we came out here with two baits, mainly gold label salmon eggs. So, you know, the good old premium eggs with glitter in them. People love those around here. Then we also came and brought the chartreuse garlic fire, but we rotated back and forth and just caught and released fish after fish after fish. Now, we had a great time doing so. We actually met 
probably a dozen anglers that watched all of our videos. It sure was exciting to meet these guys and ladies and watch them catch fish on our products just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.